Virginia McGarry again to Connected Farmer and she's going to speak about uh, the current market issues and yet uh, her opinion about the USDA's WASDE report right here on Connected Farmer, your channel to keep you up to date with the latest trends in agriculture and livestock. Hi Virginia, so uh, today we, we are having a drop of, of two digits for both corn and soybeans. Uh, what happened here? Well, you know, we suffered through the August doldrums. Uh, we just couldn't get, as much as we had fundamentally bullish news, we just couldn't get enough buying to kind of break out of the channel that we had been in for a long time. Uh, of course, we're at the end of the summer. This is harvest time. Normally, you get a little bit of a decline and you get a bottom in the market during harvest. Uh, we weren't quite sure if it was going to come uh, on Friday because it was going to be the long weekend. But I think the momentum has taken the market down below some support levels. Now, um, the the way the market looks right now, kind of based on just let's technically, let's look at it technically because that's kind of easy to go over. Uh, technically speaking, uh, the commercials are long. There's uh, uh, the uh, speculator traders are still long. Fund managers are actually still long, even though they've liquidated about a third of what they owned. Farmers have not even started to sell yet. I think we were waiting for something. I had a discussion this morning with an analyst who said that there was kind of some rumblings of possibly having a, uh, a post-harvest rally. Uh, the, I, I wouldn't put that past the market because it seems like the extreme is the norm and we're just finally this past year getting used to having all the markets on the electronic platform. So what I'm seeing is that there's been so momentum on the downside. And, and if you don't get buyers in there to hold the market up, we get a little bit of pressure. You know, some algorithms are a little bit in charge sometimes. But fundamentally, the market, the, the, the fundamental news is still relatively bullish. Now, we had some issues with, uh, you know, the terminals in the Gulf, but that is beginning to open up. We don't really know for sure if that's going to be moving. And it seems to me that after the holiday, now we've got a short week, Friday's the report. The next couple of days are going to be everyone kind of, uh, you know, getting their positions uh, balanced out to see what happens uh, with this report. It just seems like we've been going to re from report to report and everyone's looking away of the fact that, you know, west of the Mississippi is burning and uh, east of the Mississippi is underwater. So Mother Nature will, is going to have her way no matter what. And inside of all that, uh, there are some areas that are very, very strong uh, with the crops and how they're doing. So there has been some discussion about the areas that are doing very well will be enough to mitigate the areas that aren't doing very well. However, there are some things like uh, they're going to the uh, up in Canada, you know, they've had difficulty that they've never had before. So they're expecting to, to reduce some of their numbers in wheat. And uh, that's why I think that wheat has kind of been the strongest market over corn and beans over the last just couple of weeks. I'm a little bit surprised that the market did have somewhat of a sell off today. Uh, I think that it's really more of a momentum thing. Uh, I don't think anyone really knows exactly what's going to happen with uh, the report, but if we do get a whopper of a number, uh, we could see some real activity. Now the volatility, the volatility number has really contracted an awful lot. And I have found over the last year that every time it contracts and it really puts the squeeze that we have a little bit of an explosion and the market then starts to take off from there. Um, I, I realize that I, everyone's wringing their hands about the fact that the market is kind of selling off here uh, and no one wants to give it up yet. But the one thing to look for is if the farmers really start to sell, 
uh, then we could see some real pressure to the downside. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, I think that they're going to wait until after they see what the USDA is going to say. And, you know, the USDA is always full of surprises. And that's what makes this market the way it is. So There's also one. Yeah, go ahead. I'm you sorry. are seeing more of a bullish report on Friday. I personally think that it would be a little bit bullish. I just don't see there's anything else that could that, that we don't already know of that's on the bearish side. That being said, sometimes when the, we get a bullish report, then that's an opportunity for everyone to start selling. Um, but uh, the fact that we're selling kind of into the report over the last you know four or five sessions, uh, you know, it does have it, it does have me concerned a little bit. But I would say that. The stock market just making new highs and new highs and new highs has really taken taken a lot of uh, fund money and some traders out of our market. And normally we would have a full robust market back and forth in the commodity sphere with our prices being as high as they are. But the stock market making new high after new high has kind of taken that little quadrant out. And I think that that's why we're suffering a little bit here. But Tell everyone to not not worry yet. I don't think that uh, you know this is going to be a, a straight down uh, prospect. I think we're going to be leaning on looking for more demand, and of course the variant slowed things down. Um, but I look to have a pretty decent um, size bullish report, uh, especially with uh, with corn and uh, wheat uh, uh, mostly. Uh, soybeans is a little bit, you know, I think that soybeans, the, 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 they've had good export numbers. You know, China is going to be the wild card for, for soybeans. Uh, and uh, but the but all the technical things have started to contract here. So I know that it's got everyone a little bit worried. And so I think patience is going to be in order for our markets these, this next week. All right. I think uh, we summarized pretty well and uh, we are going to see that on Friday. Thank you, Virginia. It's great to be with you, Luis. Thank you.